everyone knows SharePoint, but very few use SharePoint to such an extent, including the Web 2.0 tools, including even simple things like SMS integration. Kind of amazing, but what was amazing was that they have taken it to every desktop, period, every desktop in the organization. How many of us take every application inside the organization to every user in the organization to every desktop in the organization? I think that is where you will find that there would be transformational uh, implementation of uh, any of the IT application. And the second thing I would like to urge you to do is to kind of look at mobile as a delivery platform during the thought process. I think, you know, I'll take the example of the airline industry has taken it very nicely. They quickly got on to this uh, um, check-in through the phone check-in to the web check-in and they made it completely SMS based. See, what we like about SMS based is you can do it from any phone. Second thing is you don't have to waste your time. Because you know, quite often you go to the web, you have to spend a couple of minutes, you know, the server is slow, the, uh, the bandwidth is uh, not very high. So all those things are skilled. And I think historically, the US and Europe, the application development is still pretty much built around the PC. It's a PC-centric one. You also deliver it to mobile. I think what we need in this country is start thinking mobile on the day one of the application. Don't really look at mobile as a one more application development. Look at mobile as a first grade, first citizen, first class citizen, as a delivery platform. When I come to the third one, okay, thinking beyond the four. Okay, so what happens is that going back to what I said, that uh, what is happening is traditionally we look at CIOs as a CFO of a company. Going back to what I said, copy shamelessly and expand mindlessly. Particularly areas like cloud computing and areas like web 2.0 and mobile platform. What is important is the time has come for all of us as a community to exert us so that the benefits to your form can translate to the entire industry. Okay? This is what I call catch the bull by the horn. Sometimes Collectively, we have a phenomenal amount of power and we are not misusing it, using it for country's competitive advantage. Okay, one of the jokes you often hear in corporate sector now is the moment SAP is implemented in many places, the internal or the SAP itself, the general stuff is any payment takes three to four weeks. Somebody should ask this question, why? Okay, see. I think what has happened is that it is important that we have all the process, it is important that we have all the discipline, but I think collectively if we go together and go to SAP, we ought to have a way to kind of fix this. And this would change the entire industry. The second example is interesting. You know, like NSDL sends out some nice documents to every organization, every company, etc. And invariably you find that the money which you have paid even through RTGS does not show up in the record. I think collectively we need to put also NSDL on, a, on the podium and ask this some uncomfortable question. See, any other private sector fellow taking this money and not showing it up, will we actually be hauled up? I think maybe we need to haul up the tax department if need be. Because what happens, you know, it takes months and months to show up and quite often it is on our part to actually go and convince them. I think it is important that within 24 hours, within 48 hours, advanced tax that is actually paid by every organization must show up in their records. I think it is good for the country and it is good for all of us. I think collectively we need to do. I'll make a couple of more things before I wrap up. And I also find that multi-core is something we all talk about. I know many of you don't go for multi-core because Oracle has the licensing platform is such, you don't get the benefits of it. I think collectively we have to put pressure on Oracle to see their licensing pattern changes. This is where I want you to really look at thinking beyond the four. The same thing applies to VMware. Okay. So what is happening is that organizations have been very successful, They're extraordinary organizations, I have the greatest respect for them, but some of things like licensing patterns don't change. I think how do we do uh, take care of that? I also find that many of you are implementing Facebook. There's a lot of Facebook utilization knowledge that is available to the four. Can we make it available to the industry as a whole? I think that is what my uh, 
thoughts, suggestions to you would be. Okay, to kind of summarize it. Okay, so any of these technologies, whether it's multi-core or virtualization or cloud computing, they can become disruptive. They should become disruptive, and this is my take that by using these three mantras, you should be in a position to kind of transformationally look at IT, look at IT in a disruptive way and do things which will do this country proud. And I would probably like maybe a year from now that some of the best practices of the firms in India actually become the best practices of the country. I think we would like to write a story or maybe a case study how the firm specific benefits have transformed not just the firm the very industry which you are represent, okay? And uh, I think sometimes bad times are the good times to do good things. And today is the best time to do. I'm sure with the kind of people you all assembled and the great place where you are, I understand you are going to uh, visit the, the China Wall, okay? So what I'm saying is maybe you should actually see, okay? We create such an iconic application in this country. Okay, so just at the Great Wall of China, you should have great application from India, which has just not transformed the form, which is transforming the very industry, and we become iconic benchmark across the CIO circles around the world, not even at the firm level, but at the very industry level. Maybe I'll stop here and then kind of listen to other panelists and we can take up some more questions. And thanks to Jai and thank Pramat for this wonderful opportunity. disruptive technologies and before I do that I thought I uh, will share with you some of the things that we have been seeing and echo some of the thoughts which has already been shared uh, by Professor Sarkopalan and few of the speakers before me and yesterday. Um, so before I do that let me start with the this works uh, with a phrase from Nicholas Evans anybody know who he is All right, um, frankly neither did I. And I checked up yesterday night because I was presenting to check out who is he. So he's an Englishman uh, from Oxford University. He was a prominent journalist, a TV producer, a script writer, a novelist. And uh, in one of his journeys, he has to look at what he has to say on disruptive technologies. So. So, now you have seen this slide before, right? We have gone through this collapse, up and downs, during the internet time, and we are seeing it right now. The fact that we are in a recession, tough economic environment, is overstated, probably overdone, right? And one of the usual responses of the CIOs that I have been interacting with and seeing is cost cutting. And perhaps it's right. Cost cutting is the need of the hour. There has to be some cost cutting. Budgets are tight, etc., etc. What I am also seeing is that it is very difficult for CIOs to cut cost. Why? Because today IT is embedded across almost all the business processes that you are looking at. IT is almost there in every domain, be it mail, application, whichever way you look at it, IT is there. So how do you cut cost of something which is already there beyond a particular limit? So that's one challenge. The second thing is that I want to talk about in this slide is that just by cutting cost may not be the best strategy when you look at the fact that this slide also shows that a post a recession there has always been upswing and companies which have done well in the growth phase out of the recession are usually the companies which have cut cost but also innovated, also differentiated the